Hi everybody, it's still December 15, 2017. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along a very important article. More uh, precisely, an article with very important links. Posted on Activist Post yesterday, firefighters don't want cell towers near their stations. But why, firefighters? Cell towers don't emit dangerous frequencies? Oh, they sure do. And firefighters know it. Now, schools, they put cell towers on school property. Elementary school, young children subjected to dangerous frequencies. Schools, why do they do this? Well, they get money for it. Money, money, money trumps everything. They don't care about the children's health. They care about the money that they can get from whatever telecommunications company that has parked that cell phone tower right smack on school property. I am not going to read this article, but there are 50 plus federal bills that, al that allow the telecommunication industry to park cell towers pretty much anywhere they want, residential yards. Why? Well, <laughs> Congress took $101 million in donations from the ISP industry, telecommunications industry. Wow, Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, and others spread their money far and wide to influence your government. So these bills contradict everything now. President Trump promised the American people. The FCC is part of the swamp that needs to be drained. No, Washington, D.C. needs to be drained. Local government officials, they need to be drained. State government officials, government needs to be drained. Government. And for all of you who, I'm sorry to say this so often, but if you're sitting waiting for Trump to take care of everything, well, man, that somebody else will fix it. That kind of psyche has got to change. You are the only one who can fix anything. So now we have 5G already rolled out in areas and I'm hearing from people who are not feeling good. Many of their symptoms are worse. Could it have anything to do with 5G? Now they're uh, subjected to that. Um, all right. There are very important links here. And one very important link is the International Association of Firefighters, Division of Occupational Health, Safety, and Medicine, their position on the health effects from radio frequency microwave radiation in fire department facilities from base stations for antennas and towers for the conduction of cell phone transmissions. Now, this is a very, very long, 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 long document, but it is chock filled with facts and evidence, evidence that proves that these frequencies emitted from not only cell towers, not only Glen Towers, but from your cell phone, from every gadget that uh, people are walking around with, that kids are staring at, like iPods and iPads and whatever, TV screens, computer screens, and even our appliances. They're all emitting very dangerous frequencies that affect every cell in our body. All life, all life is affected by these frequencies. So I'm just going to read this list, this list on this page that is on the International Association of Firefighters. This is why they don't want cell towers parked anywhere near their fire stations. So the studies have found the studies, and there are countless studies. So when somebody tells you 
They've done studies on these frequencies and they don't show that they're harmful to our health. Well, <laughs> that is somebody that really needs to be, I don't know, slapped upside their head. At least told the telecommunication industry, those that's where the studies are coming from. Do you think the telecommunications industry is going to put out honest, true studies? You think they're not going to manipulate the findings of those studies? God, how is it that we could still have these Americans that are so unbelievably naive that they think that corporations, that the, that, that the pharmaceutical industry, that uh, the telecommunications industry, that our government is going to tell them the truth. It, 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 it's so shocking to me. All right, so studies have found increased cell growth of brain cancer cells, a doubling of the rate of lymphoma in mice, changes in tumor growth in rats, an increased number of tumors in rats, increased single and double strand breaks in DNA, two to four times as many cancers in Polish soldiers exposed to radio frequencies, more childhood leukemia in children exposed to radio frequencies, changes in sleep patterns and REM type sleep. REM, really important. That's the rapid eye movement sleep, the deep sleep, so that when we wake up, we feel refreshed. How many of you are waking up feeling refreshed? Headaches. Neurologic changes, changes in the blood-brain barrier, changes in cellular morphology, morphology, forget it, including cell death, changes in neural, neural electrophysiology, changes in neurotransmitters, which affect motivation and pain perception. We have a third of our population experiencing chronic physical pain today. Metabolic changes, cytogenic effects, which can affect cancer, Alzheimer's, neurodegenerative diseases, decreased memory, attention, and slower reaction time in school children, retarded learning in rats, indicating a deficit in spatial working memory, increased blood pressure in healthy men, damage to eye cells when combined with commonly used glaucoma medications. And many national and international organizations have recognized the need to define the true risk of low intensity, non-thermal radio frequencies, microwave radiation exposure calling for intensive scientific investigation to answer the open questions. The organizations include the World, World Health Organization, the FDA. If you click on the number, these are end notes, it will bring you to 26. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration in a January 14, 1998 letter to the House Telecommunications Subcommittee stated, it believes additional research in the area of radio frequency is needed. In 1997, the FDA established the following priorities. Chronic lifetime animal exposures should be given the highest priority. Chronic animal exposures should be performed both with and without the application of chemical initiating agents to investigate tumor promotion in addition to tumorogenesis. Identification of potential risks should include endpoints other than brain cancer. Replication of prior studies demonstrating positive biological effects work is needed. Uh, genetic toxicology studies should focus on single cell gel studies of DNA strand breakage. Uh, epidemiology studies focused on approaches 
optimized for hazard, hazard identification are warranted. Now, even if our FDA did those, uh, demand those studies, were they demanding it from the telecommunications industry? Perhaps. But our FDA today is not the FDA that was back in 97. And I will tell you that the FDA back in 97 was a joke because the FDA in 1987 approved psychiatric medications to be put on the market as safe, telling the American people they were safe. And they have destroyed countless numbers of lives. So you can't rely on the FDA. You cannot rely on the studies that come out of the telecommunications industry. You must rely on studies that are coming from those independent scientists where they don't have any conflict of interest. Um, yes, still very upset. Kafka Winston World is gone, but I've posted a lot of videos on links to how many studies? Jesus. Thousands. Thousands. Showing all of the very serious effects. The neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are molecules which transmit information from one nerve cell to another. Early studies have reported changes in various neurotransmitters in the brain of animals only after exposure to high intensities of radio frequency microwave radiation. However, there are more recent studies that show changes in neurotransmitter functions after exposure to low intensities of radio frequency radiation. For example, effects were seen um, at 50 something watts, I don't know, I'm sorry, in one experiment. In low, low uh, intensity. It activates endro, endogenesis opioids in the brain. Those are neurotransmitters with morphine-like properties and are involved in many important physiological and behavioral functions such as pain, perception, and motivation. So this is a very important document right here. Firefighters do not want cell towers or these antennas at their stations because they know the health effects. Okay? Links are below. I hope you circulate this. I am, I am not alone because I am talking and corresponding with an awful lot of people who have uh, a myriad of symptoms related to the aerosol spraying, but also related to these frequencies. And yes, it is tragic, horrifying that we have to live like this. Understand this, if you are asymptomatic, if you are feeling okay, don't think that you can stay that way. Every, every life form on this planet is affected by these microwave electromagnetic frequencies. Every cell in your body is getting affected by these frequencies. The effects are cumulative and everybody crosses the line at different times. When I first came on YouTube, I was already sensitive. 
many of my subscribers thought, well, Carol, now you're going too far with these, you know, talking about how dangerous the microwave frequencies are. Some of them have come back and said, I'm sorry, you were right. And guess what? They became sensitive. They started living the nightmare of struggling through every day. This is very serious, and I do hope that everybody circulates this article because it has an awful lot of information in Cell Tower Conspiracy Rescuing Firefighters But Not Children Is the Road to 5G Paved with Federal and State Preemptions of Local Authority? Yes, it is. The Trump FCC AT&T et al. plan the insidious wheel of misfortune, captured agency, how the Federal Communications Commission is dominated by the industries it presumably regulates. Yes, everybody on the commission, including our uh, commissioner, Pi. Pi came from Verizon. They're all ex telecommunication, either attorneys, lobbyists, do you realize how many people have to suffer because so many Americans have become so addicted to the convenience of having Wi-Fi where they can just call anybody rudely calling people in stores talking really loudly doctor doctor's offices waiting rooms people on their phones and you've got to listen to their stupid conversations. And the use of their cell phone, those frequencies are not just affecting them. It's affecting everyone within a three foot radius of them because that's how the frequencies span out when they start using their cell phone. But understand that you're going to have to find it because I don't want to have to go back. Um, but Verizon is getting away, uh, is getting away, away from grounded, grounded um, internet service. Eventually, all of us will have to go wireless because that's where they want the world to go, wireless. Nobody will be able to ground the frequencies to use their internet. It's already happening in areas across the country, so the links are below. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you all have a good weekend.